behind us now, and if the next 15 are anything as dramatic and traumatic, we will likely need our own court jester. Somebody for comic relief, perhaps. Take my quarterback, please. Oh, my guy's laughing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, perhaps you, Jim Kelly, of the $8 million contract and the strong right arm can laugh. But what if the Chicago Bears, the defending Super Bowl champions, they lose their defensive genius, Buddy Ryan, during the offseason, and then on opening day give up 31 points in a victory over the Cleveland Browns? A lot of times we want to uh, put the cart before the horse and, you know, start barking and hollering and things like that. And while we're doing that, then they run a play and, and they hit us for a big play and we don't know what the heck happened. And wondering how the heck they can hang their star quarterback, Jim McMahon, out to drive once again. McMahon injured his right shoulder yesterday. He is out for at least three weeks. He had a, a sharp pain go up through his shoulder when he fell on it, and they're just going to call it a shoulder bruise for the time being. You'll know more about it probably tomorrow. Tomorrow, he and his Bears turn their attentions to that genius who left them for Philadelphia, where nobody's laughing today either. The Eagles, behind Buddy Ryan, gave up 41 points in a loss to the Redskins. The Lord just, uh, I guess, let it be the other way, but... Uh, uh, we'll be back, and we'll, we'll be tough. And I still think we have some great football players here, and we're going to prove it. But back to the guy who wants us to laugh a little bit. Jim Kelly only remembers bits and pieces of his NFL debut, a 28-24 Buffalo loss to the Jets. There were, shall we say, calling cards left. First half, oh, geez, I remember that now. Um, yeah, first half, I didn't know where I was. Uh, I was talking to Coach on the sideline, and I knew he used to play for Pitt. And I was wondering, where am I at? Done the play, and they gave me a play, and I said, I don't even know that play. So Greg Bell called to play the huddle. And we ran out, and I don't even hardly remember anything after that. He remembers nothing except the loss to a Jets team that now must turn right around and face the 1-0 New England Patriots on Thursday night. So day one was an afternoon for records. Eric Dickerson, a club record 38 carries for 193 yards against the Cardinals. That's 527 yards rushing for him in his last three games against them. A day for records, Marcus Allen's Los Angeles Raiders lost a tight one to Denver, and his consecutive 100-yard game record went by the boards as well. He had 98 when the game ended. Oh, but then they checked the video, and he had 102. That makes 10 in a row now. A day for records, James Jones of the Detroit Lions gained a career-high 174 yards in a victory over the Vikings. A day for records of the opposite kind, Steve DeBerg of the Buccaneers completed a record seven passes to the 49ers. The Miami defense watched the San Diego Chargers put 50 points on the board against them, second highest total in Miami history. It looks like we have a long way to go before we're going to start winning some games. We have to get much better. Words the Steelers are probably hearing today as well. They got shut out for the first time on opening day in 54 years, blown out by Seattle. We have to make a decision on uh, who we think can best help us right now. I think we're going to have to uh, get some people in and, uh, uh, because we have to shore up our skilled positions. So records, highs and lows, and comebacks. The Falcons spent two seasons without William Andrews and a full training camp without holdout running back Gerald Riggs. But on opening day, together, they returned to run roughshod over the Saints, who, by the way, lost for the 17th time in 20.